are back in pure solar, and before we advance with the storyline, I'm going back for some loot I missed. I saw the room in the previous video, it's just I brushed it off as bad editing rather than a secret, and we're going to fix that. So if you follow my tracks, look back in this place, and there is a invisible corridor, secret passage, however you should think about it, that leads you to the chest here for a Misha Berry. And then you can go outside here and you'll find the treasure chest that's waiting for you. Since there's no way to reach that, we have to burn opening 99 mana down the drain, but we get the Gordian Rope, which is a whip-type weapon for, uh, what's her name? Zelini. So, comparing that to the Flame Whip that I already have, because you saw how far up I went, doesn't, uh, not really worth it. So let's skip to the mine area and we can move forward with the story. If you remember, the mine area is to the north, so we have to take the train there since we can't walk across the mountains like the kids. Okay, now make sure you push the right button. Don't worry, I'm wearing my lesson. Here we go. So check it out. We are taking the classic way of the train rather than getting there on foot. The only way for a hero to travel.
as for right here, I'm going to get into an extra battle, and this one I'm not going to cut out. What I intend to show is just how I usually fight when I'm just trying to level up. So here we have a golem, two flies, and some sort of pill bug type thing. So what I usually do is first round everyone's going to gather. Now this is actually kind of worthwhile to do in this area. The enemies have some pretty good payout depending on what level you are in terms of EXP and then just the gold is pretty handy. I think it's something like a thousand per battle if you have enough enemies. So everyone's gathering. There are three flies in effect now. If you try to take them out one by one, those things can keep uh, doing their little vision thing. And it's up to you if you just want to draw out the fighter, just nuke them and move on. So now that we've gathered, we're going to send everything to Edison. We want to get him all the way up to five. As for him, he's going to cast Fireball. Due to his speed, he should go before them, and he can get off the 5-point gather fireball for quadruple damage. And since fireball only costs 20 mana, or MP, whatever they use for their resource, you can actually do this quite a bit. It's probably the single best way to grind as long as the enemies are not uh, resistant to fire. As you can see, 1,000, 800, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, they all go down just like that. If you get an advantage, you can take them all out without even taking any damage at all, and you can see 1,000 gold. Edisat himself got 700 EXP because my guys are in the just under level 20. And that's pretty much the best way i found to grind, and like I said, that area is pretty good if you want to spend a little while there. So, let's just go back to the story. We have to find a way, a different way across, or different back into town since we can't cross that. So, let's head down these stairs. Okay, we have a chest in plain sight, so let's go ahead and pick that off with opening since there seems to be no way of actually getting up there. Armlet. Noble one. Quite a contrast compared to how the mines appear to terrify people into not using child labor ever again. So that's the thing to pick up. No. Ooh, let's check out the weapon shop. Red chill. Sorry if we were 
for stealing the sick guy's medicine, but that appears to not be the case. I'm gonna assume that guy's healthy too. Don't know if you guys actually want me to talk to all the NPCs or not. I figure it's probably not that high on your must-see list. Well, according to the map, it should be here, but they won't see any ancient libraries nearby. Well, I doubt the map's a recent addition. Kind of like some other maps we've used in the past. Burn, Crawler. You're never going to let me live that down, are you?
switching over to the small weights real quick. Assuming these are the same as the other part of the town. bad news is that while fil uh, recording this, I took a break, and I don't remember who all I've already spoken to. So there may be some cutting around while I try to figure out who exactly I need to find.
the old weapon for Alina, or...? Yeah. Uh, okay. They give you one out here for some reason. because no other place actually had a building marked bakery. Is there anything? 
anything here before you open the shop? No, bakery's been around forever. My great grandmother opened it, been in the factory and family ever since. Is the map wrong? The library should be right here. Sad to say we don't deal in books, but if you're into the sweet stuff, we've got some of the freshest baked goods in town. How disappointing. I'm so tired. So am I. Why don't we rest at the inn nearby and start fresh tomorrow? Couldn't agree more. Okay, I'm going to go over to the save point and actually put a break in the video here. I have to splice out the sewer battles, but I can fill up the time with that and just roaming around. I will be cutting out the tedious parts. And when we pick up next time, we will go up to the inn and try to advance the storyline. So until then, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching.